All right, today we're going to take a look at an incredible monastery in the middle of the Dolomites, which are located in Italy. We'll show a map of it later. We're going to look at the monastery of Novacella or Nesfit, as it's called in German. It's got an Italian and German name. It's an amazing monastery in the middle of the Dolomites. It's an incredible place to visit. And uh, right now I'm showing it to you with the drone, DJI Phantom, with the GoPro 3 Black. Let's go ahead and look at the map. It's northern Italy. It's near the Austrian border. People here speak German and Italian and English as well. This monastery is about 900 years old. It's not far off the highway. It's easy to get to reach. It's uh, in a valley nestled in between the mountains um, on your way to, to and from Austria. And the Augustine monks are still there, they're still doing their thing, still making their wine, still doing their chants. And it's a, it's a great place to visit. The white wines here are really incredible. They have Kerner and Sylvaner, which are really top quality white wines. If you come and visit you, the monastery, you need to go to the winery and, and get some wine. There's tons of hiking and walking. And here's a nice view of the monastery, you know, at night. Um, there's also hikes along the valley. And some people even bring their skateboard out here and, and, and skate in the parking lot. There's tons of skiing in the surrounding mountains. You can go to Val Gardena, you can go to Rachinas or different ski resorts. Here in the parking lot, we got people that like to skate and I'm not sure the level of ability that we have here but um, it looks looks like he's doing okay there he doesn't get run over by a car we're just gonna go a couple of kilometers south of the monastery and further in the distance there you can see Brixen or Brissanone, which is one, a main town along in the valley, not far from the monastery. This is Valley di Zarco. They grow a lot of grapes for wine. They also have a lot of apples up on top of the hills. And the houses are both the old mountain houses and the modern flat roofed houses. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.